hello. <laughs> Why am I being so formal about this? Uh, yeah, well, welcome to another educational video that I make. Uh, woo. This time I'm going to be talking about scriptwriters and uh, their roles and responsibilities within a filmmaking production. So, I'm going to be talking about their roles and responsibilities, as I just said, what their role is during the commissioning process of a script, how they work alongside agents, directors, producers, and commissioning editors, what their role is through the production of a film, and then I'll also be telling you uh, about some of the uh, commissioning bodies that they'll be, that they could pitch to as well, and legal and ethical constraints that they will have to consider when writing a script. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so the role of a scriptwriter, also known as a screen screenplay writer, cannot speak at all, can I? Is to prepare stories and instructions for film and television, and also plays and commercials. Scriptwriter's role is actually quite essential because, uh, well, without a script, you haven't really got you haven't got any dialogue or actions or anything. And then if it's a screenplay, well, that's a whole different story because a screenplay also includes uh, different types of camera shots, the transitions, all of that. Without a scriptwriter or a screenplay writer, you haven't got any film whatsoever, you haven't got any TV show whatsoever, you haven't got a play whatsoever, you haven't got commercials, oh the horror, no commercials. Oh. And then the scriptwriter, they, uh, they create the storyline and the actions of the actors and, as I said, the set, the possible set design and this is more of when they'll be working with the director but also the shots and transitions. So the writer's role in the commissioning process, and then I'm also going to combine this with how they work with the director, producer, an agent, and a commissioning editor. So usually when a scriptwriter has finished writing their next project, they would pair up with either, they would either just hire any old agent, or they'd pair up with an agent that they've worked with before, if they're a, quite a well-established scriptwriter, and then they'd go and pitch to either a commissioning body or a commissioning editor. And then so, yeah, as I said, the commissioning editor, they'll be the one that they will be pitching to. So they'll be trying to present their idea in a way that will make the commissioning editor think, oh, if I buy this, I can turn this around for a, even more money than I sold it to, the, than I bought it from a script guy. Script guy. <laughs> scriptwriter. So the producer, the, they support the scriptwriter with the logistics of the script and the feasibility of it when also helping pitch to a commissioning editor. So they'll give them advice. They actually also help a bit when preparing the scriptwriter for pitching to a commissioning editor. They uh, provide them with logistics on how feasible their script idea is when thinking in the terms of how much money it will cost and how much time it will take to turn this script slash screenplay into a film or television show or a, or a play or a commercial. When it's eventually sold, when the scriptwriter has gotten their money, the scriptwriter can be called back as a advisor on, on set, I'll get into that a little bit, and then the director will work alongside the scriptwriter in, in a way so they can better visualise what the script will look like. So yeah, the, if it's a screenplay they may have already put in um, some shots and some transitions, but then the director can help alter that and refine it to make it even better, to have a better visualisation of what the scriptwriter was thinking. But then also essentially once the, uh, once the script is sold, the scriptwriter has only the rights that were agreed when he or she signed the contract agreeing to sell the rights to the script. So some scriptwriters, they have absolutely no rights except for their name will be put in the credits. Other scriptwriters will have the rights to say that they have their credits in the names and then they can be brought on set as an advisor when filming. Their role through the, their role through the production of a film, TV show or play, maybe even a commercial, is quite commonly they can be called in as an advisor and they would work alongside the director or cinematographer or director of photography to either help direct the actors, to help set up a shot, to help dress a scene. Then it also isn't uncommon to hear of the scriptwriters not being brought in whatsoever. They sell the rights to their script, they sign the contract and they get a credit in the film in the, or in the TV show, and then that might be it for them anyway. There is occasionally the possibility that their script still needs to be revised and re-edited, so that is when the role of a script editor comes in, or script editors come in, but that's a completely different thing. So some of the commissioning bodies that they could pitch to, uh, there's quite a different range of them from uh, massive companies to independent companies to even independent directors. So corporations, that would be the BBC. Independent production companies like Bedlam Productions Limited, independent producers slash directors like Jay Blakeson, or organisations such as Independent Cinema Office. Alternatively, they could submit their script to a writing competition, 
and if they win, then they could be funded by uh, big companies. So uh, there's a massive one. BBC Writers' Room, if they win, the BBC will produce their short film or TV series. So, finally, legal and ethical considerations that they need to think about when writing a script. So, for legal issues, this encompasses things like copyright, censorship, and libel definition here. So firstly, they have to make sure that once they've finished a draft of their script, like a full draft of their script, that it doesn't seem like it's directly copying anything. Say a scriptwriter makes a spy film and it seems really, really similar to James Bond, they would have to make changes to ensure that didn't seem any any similar at all to Bond. So they didn't they wouldn't have to make massive changes like, oh, he's a British orphan that is the best spy in the in MI6. No, they just have to make sure that they don't use names or any ideas that the Bond films has. So they can't use the main character's name as James Bond. They can't use the double O agent system. They can't have the lead of they can have the leader of MI6 is called M. And at censorship, this can be taken in two ways. Um either if the scriptwriter wants their script to be deemed rated, say, a 12 over in the UK. Basically, if they have scenes of uh, violence, then it's kind of okay, but if it's like see, if it's like explicit scenes of drug use of uh, sexual acts, either they'd have to be willing to bump their, bump their self-given age rating, or they'd have to censor it, so it's more friendly for younger audiences. Then also their censorship of, if it's a TV show especially, if they're thinking whether or not it needs to go before or after the watershed, which I explained in a previous video, I'm pretty sure. So then libel. So libel basically, they can present a false statement as fact. They can get around it in a way so if it's presented it as in a comical, satirical way that isn't serious, then they can get around it. But other than that, no, that's wrong. Can't really do that. You won't get arrested for it, or you won't get fined for it, but it's just best not to do that. And also conflict of interest. Um, again, they don't have to exactly adhere to this one, but it's just sometimes it's better if they do, because it keeps people happy, which in this day and age everyone needs to be bloody happy. I'm too cynical. You got one idea, you got another idea that directly clash. It's best not if you it's best to not really show this unless it's unless it's a centrifugal part of the script. It's like the main conflict. Two ideologies that are clashing, but then in the end, resolution, both sides are happy. So again, sometimes don't do this, other times it's acceptable to do this if it's key to the plot and it's not really represented as a, a current world issue. And where's the sun? It's all gone. Uh, uh damn it. But yeah, anyway, I'm done. You're done. We're both done. We're both done. So, hopefully you found that as informative and entertaining as <laughs> as my other videos, which you probably didn't. But this one's shorter, so hallelujah for that. Uh, where I got all of my where I got pff, cannot speak where I got all of my information in the description below. And thanks for watching. See ya.